okay so in this lecture what we do is first we just brush up what we have done so far and then uh, we'll go further uh, so if you remember what we have done is we have understood what is what do we mean by individual chromosome or a variable and an indie point basically these are the same things said in a different way okay represented in a different way because when you uh, want to do some genetic operations like crossover and uh, mutation then you use a chromosome form of representation okay but uh, if you want to calculate the fitness function at that time you would require uh, individual or a variable form of representation so these are the two basic representation which we use so whenever we want to do some mathematical cal cal calculations we use variable form uh, whenever you want to do some genetic operations you use uh, the chromosome form of the network okay so it's, it's this different representations is to facilitate uh, the uh, way we uh, the uh, the operations we want to perform okay so this we have already seen that normally uh, if you have a chromosome then you can keep them side by side so these are chromosome segments okay so in a chromosome form so you have a segments here and in variable form they are again put side by side x1 x1 x2 and this is individual form okay so uh, these are the two forms and they are interchangeable whenever we want to do have individual from the chromosome we can do so or a chromosome from individual we can do so okay so <clears throat> now let us uh, see the process of uh, one of the genetic operator which is basically one of you can say a central theme of uh, genetic uh, uh, genetic algorithms that is survival of the fittest okay so we'll see that how the fittest uh, survival of the fittest is basically programmed or basically put in the algorithm okay so basically what we do is uh, if you have a population first which uh, population then from population we see the fittest individual and then this happens this this is a process we apply survival of the fittest and when this is over then uh, this survived population or the best population best population or the fit population you can say not best rather fit populations among whole population there are certain uh, individuals who are more fit than others they are used to put them into a reproduction process okay so they go for a reproduction process to generate several offsprings which again forms a new population that is what is the idea here so what we do here is first we will see that survival of the fittest will help us in forming a mating pool formation of a mating pool uh, that means we will just select the fit uh, population and that itself forms a mating pool okay so first thing we will see just see how to form a mating pool in this lecture uh, so uh, <coughs> what happens is the fit individuals have higher probability of being part of the reproduction process okay so more fitter individual the probability of being in the mating pool is high okay and the fitness function is basically the indicator of probability of selection okay so fitness function tells us how fit the individual is okay? higher fitness implies higher probability of selection in the process so <clears throat> if you see how to calculate the probability here probability of fitness possibly this also we have seen earlier that normally if uh, fitness if you know it is from 0 to 1 so if you want to find uh, fitness pr uh, probability of selection of um, of a individual f of individual x i okay ith individual then if you want to see it uh, you know its fitness function f x i and sum of all the sum of all the fitnesses of all the population whole of the population that gives you a probability okay so that is how fitness function comes here and uh, basically to uh, to calculate the probability you can calculate you can generate uh, different kinds of fitness function that we, that we have seen but also you can use objective function by certain modification objective is function itself as a fitness function so now let us see how the survival of the fittest is uh, done okay so here I, uh, uh, there is a roulette wheel if you can see here uh, 
in this roulette wheel uh, what happens is if you uh, if you if you consider a consider a uh, needle suppose a needle okay so this is the needle and you uh, rotate the wheel and if you if the wheel is rotating like this uh, then uh, which which one has a higher probability of getting getting selected or the needle coming to that that will depend on one which has more area will have a higher probability of uh, getting that particular number okay so for example this uh, magenta magenta is possibly having the highest area so this has the highest probability of uh, if you if you select this then you have a highest probability of winning okay uh, and if you select this then you have a lowest probability of winning the roulette wheel so here also we try to uh, put uh, these probabilities together and try to use uh, selection based on roulette wheel that is some kind of a chance okay so let us see what we do to uh, to actually implement a roulette wheel or to implement a roulette wheel to do the selection of the fittest okay survival of the fittest from roulette wheel concept so what we are doing it let's say there are five individuals in a population okay so this is five individuals of the population individual one individual two and then I have calculated their fitness functions fx i so i from 1 to 5 all that I have calculated and then after that I have calculated pxi for each of the population okay so for the first population the probability of selection is 0.25 the second one is 0 0.05 third one is 0.4 so some which one is having more fit will have a higher probability one which is lesser fit is having lower value of probability and so on so these are the probability values of selection of each of the uh, individuals in a population and after that what i do is i take a cumulative sum so first one is 0.25 then i add to this so you get this one next cumulative sum and this way the cumulative 4 is added here to 0 3 and you get this and whatever is there you then add to this sorry you add to this 0.8 and then finally you add up to one because this is a sum of all the probabilities you are having okay so let us see how the examples uh, some example of uh, doing the roulette wheel selection so this is again the same thing if you see it is the same example here up to this point we have already seen these are the values here so cumulative sum and the and the px values probability values and these are the individual one two three and four and five now what I do here is after taking this I against each of the individuals I generate a random number okay so I'll generate a random number so suppose this random numbers comes here and I see where this random number lies in the cumulative sum so if you see here 0.53 would lie between these two okay it lies between these two so according to this I will in the next one next come in this range the next coming one is three so i'll take three as the individual so this individual three is selected for the mating pool similarly next i generate this one 0 0.31 if you see 0 0.31 again it lies in this range so whichever uh, uh, range is larger uh, the probability of getting into that range is more so again 3 is selected so if you see 3 is having a higher probability therefore it has been selected twice now if you say next probability is 0.17 so 0.17 lies somewhere here before this so in this case you will select 1 okay so 1 is selected next uh, random number is 0.42 again if you see it comes between this and therefore again 3 is selected okay again point 0.2 point 0.2 comes over here so it is again selected here so if you remove this you will see that you are point one. so this is the selection dip so if you go back and see uh, this first individual is having the highest uh, sorry the third one is having the highest probability point 0.4 and the second one is point 0.25 so the higher is the probability of getting them selected one has been selected two times and this three times uh, this three yes three times 
and uh, that will happen uh, depending on the random number you have but the chances of selecting higher uh, individual having a higher probability is definitely higher so i'll just go for it to show you on one more uh, uh, example or rather two more example so if you see here the same is taken only the random part is changing okay so now i have generated a new set of random numbers so again if you see it is lying here so one is selected uh, a point eight five if you see it is lying here so now five is selected point four two it's lying here between three and seven so again three is selected point six four again lying in between these two okay so three is selected point nine two lying over here again five is selected last one is selected so here again if you see the highest having one having the highest probability is selected and uh, here one is selected so there may be a chance but the selection of mm, higher priority will be more here in this case obviously it was not exactly that way with what we had in the last one but it's uh, okay whatever random number comes that is how it is selected so i'll take one more example so here if you see again the same values are here and now the set of random numbers are different so 0.626 between this and this so 2 is selected and 0.38 uh, is lying between these two so 3 is selected 0.38 okay 3 is selected then 0.97 lies over here so again 5 should be selected yes 5 is selected 0.73 again lies over here so 4 is selected 0.59 lies again between two and this three so more one which is having highest probability of getting selected would be selected more number of times okay so that is how this uh, survival of the fittest is uh, is uh, actually this is uh, forming a mating pool okay so this is how we are selecting from this five individuals having different set of probabilities or fitness values rather we are trying to select a uh, few uh, most fittest one and of course maintaining the randomness okay not just taking the selected few and then we are applying but we are also maintaining some random thing so if you see them uh, out of this five effectively one two is selected three is selected five to so only three of three of those whole uh, population only three uh, kind of three uh, individuals are selected in the mating pool okay so if you go back and see back and see here also if you see out of five three is selected three is selected and one and five again three type of individuals are selected okay if you see still the last one here uh, three is selected only two type of uh, two individuals are selected out of five so that is how uh, that is how survival of the fittest is uh, mimicked here that is by selecting fewer number of uh, uh, individuals from the larger set depending on their probability of selection or depending on their fitness values so <clears throat> this is how the the uh, survival of the fittest is uh, is uh, actually done so now this mating pool has been has been made here and now we can with this mating pool this set of individuals are supposed to take part in a reproduction process okay so this is the full set of uh, individuals having these values uh, this is the full set of individuals if you go by the indices one two three four and five and if you see here in the mating pool you have only two three five and four so only three type of individual three are there okay so they are selected in the mating pool of course some of them will have a larger number of copies for example three is having two copies similarly okay three is having two copies so that will happen one which is having higher probability will be selected more number of times also so that is how a mating pool is made and from this mating pool we, we do the process of reproduction and that that uh, contains a process of crossover so we utilize crossover among these individuals which are more fit to produce offsprings 
okay so we'll stop here and see in the next uh, set of slides how this this uh, this crossover and reproduction process is done in the mating pool